again for the ride. Oh, would you stop? With all the slack you've been picking up at Fusion, it's the least I can do. You feel better, okay? Yeah, you too. Thanks. Taking Dr. Battaglia, call extension 198. Uh, hi, um, I'm Madison North. I have an appointment with the OBGYN. Looks like the doctor's delayed. Hey! Hi, Melissa. What are you doing here? I was hoping to catch Frankie on a break. Madison is a dear friend of ours. Is there any way you could get her in a little sooner? She was just released after a gunshot wound, and we wouldn't want to take any chances. I'm sorry, did you did you want to see the surgeon or the OBGYN? Um, the OBGYN. Kendall and I have been through some rough times. We've always come out intact. Well, some situations are insurmountable. I believe this is one of them. Zach was my friend, too. I loved him. If anyone would understand, it would be you? Yes. Kendall has just lost the love of her life. I know. When Leo died, I thought my life was over. What is it you want, Remy? Do you want Kendall's blessing on you and Ryan? No. Because I think that's pretty much impossible at the moment. Every time Kendall looks at you, the wound is just opened. It's ripped open all over again. I just want things to go back to the way they were. Well, things are never going to be the way they were. Zach is dead. And he's dead because he was trying to save you. And I will live with that guilt for the rest of my oh, life. Would you please stop, stop trying to make this a pity party, Greenlee? You brought this on yourself. The minute you brought David Hayward into all of our lives, my God, when I think of that the ri ridiculous uh, sham of a wedding of yours, I want to scream. Why do we have to keep rehashing that? Oh, excuse me, you can't take a little rehashing? Two little boys are going to grow up without their father. Gabby and Miranda without their Uncle Zach. And Kendall. And all because... Well, I just wish to God that you would never come back. How good an idea this is. So you come into town acting like a recruiter for Doctors Without Borders. I am a recruiter. Oh, well, then you're acting like we are colleagues or something. What? I gave you my pitch. I don't know what else you want from me. Answers. Answers would be really nice. It's been a long time. Things have changed me and for you. So do the answers really matter? Considering I stayed up for about a thousand nights trying to figure everything out, the pathetic wedding ring hanging around my neck, I'd say, yeah, they matter. I just want to know why. Why did you leave? Why then? Why like that? Were, were there... Signs? Because I swear I didn't see any signs. It was our marriage really falling apart, and I, uh, and I didn't have any clue whatsoever, and you have some guy on the sides, and your truck driver guy turns out not to be a truck driver, he's a doctor, turns out to be in my town now, in my hospital, and then you two roll into town together at the same time. I mean, is it like a, it's a package deal no, with the two? It's, no, it's, it's not. Like that. What is it exactly like? Because I, I really just, I've always just tried to make sense of it, you know? And I, I think that after everything that you've put me through, that I, I deserve at least that. Are you happy? Ask me that. I've been thinking a lot about our time together in the field. How fearless you were. 
can't count how many times you went into places that I was so sure that you wouldn't come back from. But you did. And when you did, you always had this huge grin on your face. The high after saving who knows how many lives. And you'd look at me and you would say, Reckless abandon. Well, I don't live like that anymore. I can see that. Yeah? What else do you think you see? Things change. Right. Whether we ever wanted that or not. Introduce me to your friend. What are you doing here? Nothing. I, I just, I wanted to see if there was any change. I guess. Uh, I told you to stay away from this room. I didn't come here to hurt him. No, not this time. But last time, let's not forget, I caught you with a pillow in your hands. You haven't told anyone, have you? No. But you keep showing up like this. I might not have a choice. Well, I wasn't in my right mind that day. You said so yourself. Well, what about now? You're in your right mind now, Kendall? None of this is right, okay? My mother could still go to prison. Prison! For saving someone's life. My husband is still gone forever. And this guy, what is he doing? He's, 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 he's sleeping. And he needs to pay okay. for what he's oh, done. All right, okay. Come on. Let's go. Hey, 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 whoa. What's going on here? I'm sure the doctor's going to see you, like, in any minute. Hey, you don't have to pretend. Okay. Wait, what am I pretending about again? Wait, Frankie didn't tell you? Oh. Oh. Tell me what, Madison? I'm pregnant. Stop. Wish I could, but it's true. Ryan? Who else? Well, I don't know. I'm just asking. Wow. I could wait with you if you want. I want. I mean, if, if you don't have anywhere else to be. No. I'm all yours. I hoped and prayed that we would be on this. It was a mistake for me to come here. I'm sorry. Greenly, wait. Greenly. Come on, I can't believe we're back here. You attacking Greenly like that? Me attack? came to me. To fight? To get my help. Oh, well, the nerve of the girl. No wonder you gave her one. You want to talk about nerve? Yes. Your daughter, your healthy, happy, madly in love daughter, came here to get me to help her reconcile with Kendall. Well, what the hell is wrong with that? Kendall can't even look at Greenlee. Okay. Do you ever think that maybe Kendall needs Greenlee, that they need each other? Kendall needs her family. She doesn't need person who's responsible for her husband's death. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't put what happened to Zach on Greenlee. I put what happened to Zach on Greenlee and her so-called husband, David Hayward. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Amanda, this, this... Kara, yeah, I know. We met earlier. I guess it just slipped your mind to tell me who you were. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to seem shady. I just... I didn't want to cause any problems, so... Am I interrupting something? No, no. We're done here. Um, look, I'm gonna be around in the next day or so, so if you reconsider. It's nice to meet you. Good to see you again, Jake. It's okay, Kayla. It's not okay with me. Are you Mrs. Slater related? I'm a friend of the family. Okay, well, the patient's condition hasn't changed. She doesn't need to be here, and I'd appreciate it if you never came back again. I'd appreciate you not telling her what she can and cannot do. Let's just go. Look, you need to trust me on this. 
Somebody, you, somebody in her family, needs to make sure that she stays away from this room. for assault and not knowing if it's going to get worse. I'm so angry, and I have no one to yell at because the person responsible won't even wake up. Him? Yes. I hate him for everything he has done. And I just... I wanted it all to go away. And? So I came to his room, and I stood over his bed. And when I saw the pillow, it seemed so simple. I wanted to make him stop breathing. And I almost did. Look, is this gonna just keep happening, you versus me, for the rest of our lives? Can't you even try? Can't I try to what? To meet her halfway, to try to understand what she's going through. I I'm sorry, what she's going through? What about what Kendall is going through? It's not a competition. No, of course it isn't. Kendall just lost her husband. Eric, I know that Kendall is suffering enormously. I get that. But this hasn't been easy for Greenlee either. Or you. Or me. Or all the other people that were damaged in Hayward's wake. No matter how you look at this, none of this would have happened if it hadn't been for Greenlee's entanglement with David Hayward. So what now? For you and me. I don't know. I do know that I am sick and tired of being the one always asked to bend on this. You say that we're a family. We are a family. Well, then, why aren't you reaching out to Kendall? Not just Greenlee. Why aren't you reaching out to Kendall to try to ease some of her pain? 